Hey everybody, we're here with Adventures with Brenda and we have finished the chicken coop. So here we go, all nice and painted, all the trims out. Open the door, we have a removable plywood. Um, this is basically just to keep the, um, the eggs and the hay in when we go to check the eggs in the morning. And then these pieces all slip up and remove so that I can get in and clean out the hen house. It's got the, uh, I think it's called FRP plastic floor. And I've got a nice little roost in there. Lock the latch. We got the window, which was there before. We added this little, um, this is what happens when you work in a machine shop. Uh, we got a brand new door with a handle. It's an antique handle off of some, some door I found somewhere for free. And there you go. We have added um, trim on everything. We've added drip edge, brand new shingled roof. So, funny story, my trailer is now bright red. There was no paint. And as Bob Ross says, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. I lost my balance and kicked over the can of red oil paint. So instead of wasting it, I just quickly grabbed the, va the um, vacuum and the broom, cleaned out all the shingle dust and stuff, and ended up rolling out my trailer in ice cranberry red to match my chicken coop. So it's also the color of my current house and um, the color of the chicken coop at the land. Here we go, another door that stays, stays open and there you go. And I'll bring you over to my Model A. I know everybody's been asking. So this is what we've done on the Model A. The dump body is off. Again, this is a uh, a wood hydraulic bed. This was not a 1928 bed. It's probably from the 30s. And here is my truck that I call the Clifford. And the, the sheep mallow body is ready to lift soon. We are going to move everything out of the garage tomorrow. We're gonna to bring the chicken coop outside with the heat lamp. That will allow us to slide Clifford outside, get the snowmobile trailer in to drop the bed on it. And once we lift the bed, we're gonna push Clifford back. Underneath the car lift, we're gonna uh, strap it down on some two by fours, brace it really good, and we're gonna lift the body off. So um, you got the, the fenders off and the cowl off, the rocker panels off, and. It's moving along slowly by surely. And at the house I for, uh, fondly call the turd, we have electricity restored and I raked probably five pounds of cat poop out from underneath the underbelly area. And I completely stapled and fastened that back up. So in the very near future, hopefully tomorrow, We'll be able to go in and drop the subfloor with some insulation and uh, everything is moving forward. At the land yesterday, we dropped seven huge trees that were just um, too big for me to drop personally. I wasn't comfortable. They were twisted and bent. And I was able to get a local, um, basically a tree guy, a logger, um, to drop them. And he dropped all seven trees in less than an hour. One of the trees was infected by the ash borer and it got hung up in an oak tree. So he had to take both the ash and the oak, which is fine because it's both are good hardwood. The ash cannot be brought off the property, but it can stay on the property and get chopped into nice hard uh, hardwood for burning on the fire. And then the oak, there's nothing wrong with the oak that can get milled up into oak planks, which will be another adventure with Brenda. Just not today, because we've got enough stuff to do. And uh, my chicky babies. Let me climb up on Clifford and show you my chicky babies. Oh. 
here's all those lovely chicky babies. I think it's awesome that they're in a work truck. Bye, guys. See you next time on Adventures with Brenda.